Yeah, yeah! Why does everybody always think I'm locked up somewhere? Being Bobby Brown was a reality series on the Bravo Network that provided audiences with an unfiltered look into the life of R&B superstar Bobby Brown and his marriage with international superstar Whitney Houston. The show came during the era of the celebrity reality television boom. We had Nick and Jessica, The Ashley Simpson Show, Britney and Kevin, The Simple Life with Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie, The Osbournes, and so on and so forth. Being Bobby Brown was filmed over the course of six months starting in early 2004, and 10 30-minute episodes started airing in June 2005. The reality series gave viewers an intimate portrayal of Bobby's personal and professional life, showcasing the highs and the lows of fame, relationships, and family dynamics. Bobby and Whitney's turbulent marriage and personal struggles had been the center of a lot of tabloid and media attention. And Bobby was in and out of jail. So this was the perfect time for producers to exploit them. Being Bobby Brown generated negative reviews from critics who slammed the series calling it exploitive, disgusting, and a train wreck. Specifically, things like Bobby casually throwing around domestic violence jokes while there was a pretty big elephant in the room. His constant need for attention and clout chasing off of his wife. The show had a lot of cringeworthy moments, but it also birthed a lot of memes and reaction gifs on social media. I've always covered reality television on this channel, but I wanted to switch things up a bit instead of giving you guys the same old where are they now videos. So I asked you guys for some ideas, and most of you agreed that I should do recaps. So Being Bobby Brown is the first installment of my reality show recaps on this channel. Now let's get into the mess of it all. That's not even cute. That's not cute. That's not cute. Stop! Stop! Get out my face. Get out my face. I'm not in the mood to. I'm not in the mood to. Go ahead. Go ahead. Ah! Stop. <laughs> new foot. I want new Stop, foot. Stop, Bobby. Stop. Stop. All right. Yeah. Is you want to hit me? Bobby, I would not the f*** out you to the table. Go ahead. Bobby, shut up! Shut up, Bobby! Come on! Give your husband a kiss. Mm -mm. I wouldn't really try me right now! Come on! Come on, baby! Come on, daddy! Let me get in the car! Get in the car! That's it, though! Let me get in! Come on! Kiss me, y'all! 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 Kiss me, Right off bat, the theme song alone sung by Bobby himself lets you know that this show was bound to be a mess. Episode 1, which was the pilot, opens with Bobby being released from jail after serving time for a string of legal troubles, including unpaid child support and domestic violence against his then-wife Whitney. He introduces viewers to his children from previous relationships. La Princia. La Princia. The Princia is my oldest daughter. It's really hard for me to see my daughter grow up, you know? Yeah, if someone even try to kiss you, you better smack them. Dad, you don't, so... Don't smile. Don't okay, smile. Listen to me. He talks to me about all this not stuff. Smile. Stop. Bobby Jr., he's special to me, man, because he carries my name. That's my legacy. I shall live on forever. In Atlanta, Bobby goes to a Hyatt hotel where he reunites with his wife, who's wearing a Beyonce shirt. Hi, sis. Hi, Tommy. Oh, I didn't, I'm sorry, Tommy. I didn't okay. see you back in there. <laughs> Where'd you get the Beyonce shirt? Go, go. Last night, I went to see the sisters. The ladies. You can boobs. Russia. Dukes. And that's where she's introduced to the show's producers. This is my wife. Hi. Hi, everybody. How are you? 
doing? Good. I this just want my is, husband. This is, this, is, this, is, this is the world. Hi, world. Beautiful, ain't she? Yeah. That's my lady. And you? You're waiting for me. Huh? Oh, my God. What you trying to do? What you try oh, see, you know what I'm talking about. I told you all, it's all the way on. Um, I see it. I'm not going to do it. She's here? She's here somewhere. Who? Chris, have you seen her? In a hotel? Is she here? Yeah. She wrote with you? Yes. He also reunites with their daughter, Bobby Christina, who hides out in the cupboard to surprise him. Bobby Chris, I named her after me. It's me and Whitney's daughter. I'm sorry, what are you doing? That's baby girl. The couple eventually locks her out of their room and made it clear to producers that they were gonna make love. It then cuts to the viral scene where Bobby and Whitney are dancing in the hotel's gift shop. Hello. Hey baby. Hey baby. I need, I need to go back. I need, I need to. Huh? Go. Go, 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 go to get my, my, my glasses, glasses, glasses. Before you go, do you like these on me? I think these are tight, but they get down. They work, they work for me, they work, they work for me, they work. They work. I'm hungry. Come on, let's go eat. I'm hungry. Come on. I'm Look at Whitney. Y'all go over there and get Whitney. Kiss your brother, please. All right, I'm going to stay in time. I need a vacation. Like tomorrow. Later in the episode, the family jets off to the Bahamas for a vacation. With Gilligan, the skipper to the millionaire and his wife, the movie star, the professor and Marianne, he will get again. And gets followed around by fans as they make their way through the Atlantis resort. Do you have a camera? Yeah. It's Whitney Houston, Bobby Brown. Whitney Houston? How cool is Whitney Houston, Bobby Brown. Here. Bobby Brown? Come on, let's go. I got to the airport. They was like, Whitney Houston and Puff Daddy. You are Puff Daddy. I'm like, I'm not Puff Daddy. Yes, you are. You are Puff Daddy. I know you are Puff Daddy. It eventually starts annoying Whitney because fans followed and bothered them everywhere they went in the resort. So she shoes off the fans and declines pictures. Bobby, on the other hand, loves the attention. Hey, I'm out. Oh. All right, I'm getting out. Okay. Where's your shoes? Just go. Just go. I want to get a hot dog over there. All right, stay real. Uh, you always know that. You think I can be any more real than I am? Hell to the no. Hey, hey. Good. I'm known like the president. They might as well just give me the Oval Office. I'm going to try me a cheeseburger. You look great. You so nice. Now y'all gonna stand in my stand right over there. Ma'am. Uh-oh. Ma'am, please. Beat me for a minute. You are too big for that. Who, me? That's my family. What do you love the kids? What you want for? Yeah, I can't take a picture. They can work me over time. Ma'am, are you filming? Don't do that. Uh-oh. Damn. Better get makeup. I just want a real life. Lord, I just want to be a real person. Praise God. Why are you so mean? I'm a liar. I protect mine. Beat me for a minute. 
We have. No, you haven't. Do you? We live with you. No, you don't. Okay. Remember that when we get home. <laughs> Can I take a picture with you? No. No. Ma'am, I'm eating. I'm. You see me eating? Sorry. Yeah, I do. I'll take a picture with you. <laughs> jealous. It's all right. She's a sister. I don't want to mess with her. <laughs> See, I don't understand. See, me, I got into the business for people. But not my wife, man. She got into it to sing. So, you want a picture with me? Cool. You want a picture with her? <laughs> I doubt it. Bye. Later on in the night, the couple goes on a date at the hotel's restaurant. And this time, she's more than happy to take pics for fans. Who's smiling at you? You don't lost it. Straight upstairs. I'm probably gonna have to fight one of these. You want to hit me? Bobby, I would not the out your table. Go ahead. I'm gonna see you. <laughs> I'm gonna take your ass straight to jail. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, Miss Houston. Sorry, Tony. Mrs. Brown. Excuse me. Brown, sorry. Would you mind if my wife had a photo with you? Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. The couple dances through the hotel, putting on a show for bystanders. Right. That was good, huh, Papa? Oh, 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 Our children are crazy. All right, kids, y'all have to go to bed now. Who you think you is, homie? Bobby leaves to go to a club where he gets danced on by local women and even hit on. The next day, the family visits a private beach for some much needed privacy. Whitney has her late father on her mind and breaks down in tears as they're eating breakfast. Back of his head looked like Popeyes. That's why the spirit of people's in town. I'd love to see him, that man, come down that street right here. Walk down that walk here. Whitney's father. Man, I miss Pop Pop too. He's with us though, always. Those cool ass, cool hand loop, <laughs> cool hand John. <laughs> Come here. Come on. This episode pretty much sets the tone for the series by showcasing the couple's dynamic and interactions with each other and their children. Every time I go to court here, you know, you can be sure that Bobby Brown's going to jail. Singer Bobby Brown was back in court today to face charges that he hit his wife, Whitney Houston. Brown contends he did not hit his wife, they were just playing. In episode two, Bobby attends court hand in hand with Whitney for a domestic violence case stemming from an incident from a year prior where he struck her, giving her visible injuries and threatened her life. But he claims they were just simply slap boxing. My wife dropped charges, but the state decided they want to pick them up. They want to give me a year in jail. I don't know how the state just does that. They don't have my wife, they don't have anything, you know, so I don't think the state should get involved with it. Whitney Houston has told the press in the past that she will stand by her man during his times of trouble, and she kept to her word today here in the courthouse as Bobby Brown formally faced charges that he hit his wife last year. He's also accompanied by his attorney, Phaedra Parks. Yes, the Phaedra Parks from Real Housewives. Luckily for Bobby, he gets off with only a $2,000 fine, and the couple goes to a local restaurant to celebrate. My daughter told me that I was coming home. I didn't know how to tell her, you know, I might be doing a year, you know. Usually with a misdemeanor, you go to court and they just throw it out or give you a fine. With me, they give me jail time, they give me a fine, they give me community service. Hello, Mr. Brown. $2,000 is the scheduled fine from the uh, Superior Court judges. Uh, I'll sign a bind over. It'll be a $2,000 bond. I'll let you sign your own bond. I'm also going to sign a uh, special conditions bond that goes along with that. It'll just require that there be no further violent contact. 
uh, with Ms. Houston. If you were to violate that and be in violation of the special conditions, then you could be put back in jail or put in jail with no bond. You understand this? Oh my God, you know, today's court day, and I don't like her to go to school court days. She said, I understand. But the Chris was like, yeah, baby, go to court, daddy. <laughs> go to court, daddy. I don't go to school on court days, daddy. <laughs> court is daddy days. Court is daddy days. I got a lot of daddy days. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing to laugh about. Oh, you ain't lying. Behind me, man. I pray to God that this be the last case that I have to deal with, you know, that concerns my wife because that's basically speaking on my manhood, you know. Along oh, with yeah, your chest, and be like this mm -hmm. on the walls of your stomach and of your. <laughs> I love your rectum. Mm -hmm. There's a bugger in there, man. He's got two fangs. He be holding to your like. Mm -mm. Talking about asses in front of my food. Fast. It's, 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 it's not a moment. Y'all leave that moment alone. That we discuss asses. <laughs> go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. I'm growing up, man, and that's the main thing. Most 35-year-old men, black, you know, don't get a chance to grow up again. I'm just proud that I have a family and I have friends, you know, to make me feel comfortable. The next day, Bobby treats Whitney to a spa experience. This is the brotherhood of black man. Yeah. Yeah, you don't need all that look, lotion look, for look, that. Look, look, look. Just quiet. Come on, get lotion. Hush. Hush your mouth. I'll beat you. Okay, what are we supposed to be doing here? Are we ready to get massaged? That's what I thought. Hello? Ready? Hello? I'm Janessa. Hi, yeah, I'm Chris. Hi, Chris. Well, Chris, you won't be touching my wife today. <laughs> <laughs> you touching me? Are you swapping? That's cool. Absolutely. Oh, swapping. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't no swap over here. I'm his, he's mine, and you the massage, and you the masseuse. Later in the day, while Whitney's getting her makeup done for the evening, Bobby tells a story about a time he had to use his finger to dig excrements from Whitney's behind. As Barry Guerin from The Hollywood Reporter puts it. Why are you playing so much? Hey, I've seen worse. I've had to dig a, 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 a dookie bubble out of, your, out of your butt. Okay, all right. <laughs> He's tripping. <laughs> Her turd was too big, coming out of her butt, and she couldn't get it out. And I had to help her. When nothing, when nothing worked, I had to put these fingers right here. <laughs> defense. Defense, defense, defense. Oh my God! That's love. That, that's love. That's what I think I'm saying in my room. That's love. That's love. <laughs> my sisters were going, that's love, that's love. That's, that's love. love. That's love. Black love. They go out and have dinner at an upscale restaurant where they brought their crazy shenanigans. All right. Yeah. I think I can impregnate you tonight. Bobby, impregnate me for the last week. Well, I was just hoping that, you know. Every. We can get down to the get down when we get back. I'm ready to get down with the get down. Good sleep. Good, good, good sleep. Go. Go to sleep. Snore. Bobby. But it ain't like that. Bobby, I don't snore. <laughs> and that pretty much concludes this episode. Let me show you my watch. See that watch right there? Boy. It makes me want to do crazy things. <laughs> I am so into this watch that this watch is into me. I want to put Dude, it on again. Up. It's a perfect fit. When I show my wife, she's going to make me buy it. Mama, let me show you my watch. Yeah, man. I'm so good. I am so fly with this watch. What time is it? Mm, ice. <laughs> She wouldn't even.
even look at you it. You tried very hard. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, no, 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 don't do it! No! My wrist doesn't feel right now. I gotta get to watch. <laughs> In the next episode, the family of three head to London and spends their first day shopping at the department store called Harrods. Bobby's behavior, coupled with the cameras, attracted the attention of shoppers. And before they knew it, the whole store was following them around. Oh, here comes some clothes. What are they looking for? I ain't do nothing. I swear, I swear I ain't got nothing. Okay. I like those two vests with those two ties. Why are you so loud? And the shirts. Come on, boo-boo. Honey! Listen, I don't have time for y'all. Bobby! I'll take everything in extra large. You know what? I'm not doing this with him today. All the shirts. Bobby! Show me something black on black. These are huge. I'll take this. Talking about a little gay on me. Shit, I ain't gay. That's good. This, that, and that. All right, I need five watches with diamonds, and I need them now. <laughs> Dance with me. How much is this? I need that. No. Uh, no. I took these. That? How much is that back? $1,248. Where my wife at? Glenn Trump. He know he got this <laughs> the store laid up. So you can join her, yeah? I love it. I <laughs> love it. Look behind you, look behind you. Oh, no. Uh, oh, what, you want to skip sunglasses? No, I have to get sunglasses. I have sunglasses. to. Do I look goofy? Christina? Anybody speak English? No. I'm sorry, too hard. Don't be alligato. Yeah, Gabby, you like this? Nope. Nope. Do you like these? <laughs> these? Look, Bootsy Collins, Bootsy, Bootsy. Uh -huh. I've got to go. Everybody got camera phones. Take a picture. Bobby! Go ahead. Hi. You're holding us up. What you mean I'm holding yeah. you up? Fourth floor. I'm trying to buy some stuff too. For Come for on, her, for her? shop too. Yeah. For her? She didn't get anything yet? Oh. One day y'all gonna learn it. Daddy need to, 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 to just be quiet. Yeah, for real. All right. Bobby breaks the arm off a mannequin, then makes his way to the food court, and Bobby Christina grows increasingly embarrassed by her father's antics. No, 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 have fun. Come on. You know what, see, I can't wear nothing up in here. This here ain't gonna fit me. Can y'all show me to a man section? Chris, you like these? Hey, yo, can you tell me where the local pub is? Come on. Oh my God, he broke the arm. Put that down. Can somebody help me put the Daddy. arm on? I'm not dealing with him. No, come on. Come on. Oh my hey, God. somebody help me put this arm back on. Get the arm. Um, the point was over there. Fly. You didn't like the jeans? I'll wipe my kisses off. You One more time. Stop. One more time. Stop. You didn't like the jeans? Unfortunately, my daughter and my wife gangs up on me. They want to do me home, y'all. Ooh, she wasn't my wife. That wasn't my daughter. Okay? And some shoes, okay? Sneakers and some shirts. That's all. Daddy, for real, stop. She's not in the She doesn't feel right now. What'd I do? It's not what you did. I think it's you. It's not you. I understand you, woman. You need to find another way to deal with us. No. How about it? You need to find another way to deal with us. We are. We don't say shit to you. I know. So, would it bother you? Yes, it bothers well, us. Well, then deal with it, Bobby. Don't you realize? It deal with it, Bobby. Deal with it. my daughter. Leave her Look alone. Look at my daughter. She's fine. Baby girl, are you fine? Yes, you are. She fine. Mm-hmm. I'm really tired of y'all being mad at me for no reason. We are so tired of you thinking that you're mad at you. It ain't about you at all. I know it ain't about me. All right, can you handle that? I just want to know. But can you handle that it's not about I you? I can't. Then go sit down. I will. Times like these, my wife gets on me, my daughters get on me. It just makes me want to walk. Go and sit down and rest, Bobby. Get some air. You ain't right at all. I also couldn't ignore the comments they made about her being too big to fit the clothing items Whitney picked out. Please, please. Those ain't fitting. She got body, baby. She's a brown. She got body. 
actually. She was Houston, we wouldn't have this problem. I got, yeah, yeah, what? If she was in Houston, what? We wouldn't have this problem. She ain't in Houston, she a brown. I'm so happy about that. Don't get it twisted. Bobby and Whitney were criticized by a writer at Entertainment Weekly who wrote, Let's hope Bobby Christina picked up one of her parents' recessive genes for sensitivity. Sure, the kid was out of earshot for the conversation, but how will she feel when she inevitably catches this episode during one of its 217 airings on Bravo this month? By airing footage like this, Whitney and Bobby not only guarantee massive future therapy bills for their daughter, but also rob her of the chance to make a quick buck with a mommy dearest tell all 30 years from now. But back in the episode, they also ran into Herod's owner, Muhammad Al Fayed. So you should say she have enough of you and she's gonna stay with me this weekend. <laughs> she has yeah, stay with yeah, you this weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep her, I'm keep her. <laughs> I'm gonna give him something nice for you tonight. Give me a hand. What? The Egyptian Viagra. Double action. Ooh. Oh, he need that? Yeah. No, you me never need it. Tonight, if you use Ooh. that. Three babies. Really? No. This episode really exposed Bobby's constant need for attention since his wife was the bigger celebrity. Afterwards, they randomly encountered the Dalai Lama outside their hotel, where Bobby introduces himself as Whitney Houston's husband. Mr. Lama, Mr. Lama, Mr. Brown, Bobby Brown. Hi. Hello. 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 Bobby Brown. Sorry. Bobby Brown. Sorry. I'm Bobby Brown, Whitney Houston's husband. Sorry. He's single. He make music. He make music. He heads to Brixton, a predominantly Afro-Caribbean community, to get a haircut. And fans were already crowding around him before his hair was finished. But he decides to go hang out with them and enjoy some Caribbean food and music. It's a boy! Food. Let's go eat. You wanna eat? Let's eat. Hi, sweetie. We're gonna have a party up in here. It's all on me. Turn that s on. <laughs> Let's do what we gotta do. Yeah. We're going out back. What we got to eat? Jerk chicken. We have fish. Everything. You want. The women were getting flirty with Bobby, and one woman even pulled him aside to ask him for money. My problem. Oh my rent. Okay, I'm big family up here. Slow down. Eh? Say it again. Two million really and a family more and pay it. I still didn't understand you. My home, my landlord, my rent, and I beg okay. money to pay my rent. Like okay, how much? I do 160 pounds. All right, stand there. Yeah. Don't yeah. let nobody see. No, you. no. Okay, so I have, I... I have American money though. Here, yeah. it's 200. Yeah, we know. Come to the motel. Huh? <laughs> 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 Later that night, they went to have dinner with the royal family of Brunei, and he annoys Whitney on the way. I want new foot. I want new foot. I want new foot. Stop, Bobby. Stop. While at dinner, Bobby starts inviting people to join them, and Whitney starts getting annoyed. Are you joining us? Um, I don't think there's enough. Get enough. We're gonna find the secret. Yeah, double shot. Because Back on the rocks. Like Bobby, don't do it. Don't do it. Please, don't do it. But, oh no. Cause he's not. I don't put your hand. Gotta leave you for a minute. Where you going, baby? Restroom. I'm gonna take the cigarette because what I gotta do. Go. 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 Need the gory details. Just go, Bobby. <laughs> it's gonna take some time. Just go. All right. Just go. You know if I don't. Bobby, it all out of me. If I, I swear, it. if I don't get it all out like that, I gotta take it all out of me. <laughs> Just go. All right. Huh? <laughs> By the end of dinner, he was chugging beer, and it left him intoxicated. Come on! Come on, baby! Come on, daddy! Let me get in the car! Get in the car! Get in the baby! Get in! Come on, baby! Stop following me, Shoe. Shoe, stop following me. Why you following me, Shoe? Why you following me, Shoe? Why is my shoe following me? Honey, why is my shoe following me? Uh -oh. Girl, I'm drunk. I told you that at the restaurant. You denied me. <laughs> you denied me. I'm You're in denial. Up. That's the problem. You're in denial. Baby, I'm up. You're in denial. <laughs> That's not cute. We were seeing. Your daughter, you got kids, man. I know I got kids. No, you don't act like it. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Now I ain't drunk. What you talking about my kids for? 
Yeah, yeah you better close the f***ing doors. Yeah, what was you gonna do if I did? In episode four, they're back in Atlanta and Bobby prepares for a family camping experience. Okay. I ain't even go when I was in the Boy Scouts. Well, they didn't take me. I was too bad. I want one of them futuristic camping trips. It's the hotel? Yeah. It's the Triform Tent. Ten people can sleep in here. Serious? You mean we actually got to sleep on the ground like this? Yeah. We're going to be in the woods. Got to camouflage yourself. No, 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 no. I ain't going to try nothing. No. We're going to put it on when we get out there. If it don't fit, if and it don't fit, we in the woods. Uh, it's just you drive home. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> That's gonna be the hard part. I'm no felon, so. <laughs> I got a few misdemeanors. Ooh, this is what it. I need. That paintball? No, man, nah. -uh. We don't what need you mean? that. I mean, Bobby, who are you gonna shoot with birds. a plastic pellet? Why would you wanna shoot a bird? Because we gotta eat out there in the chunk. Trust me, they're not we gonna let you. We'll have them just in case. You just want a gun because you think it's gonna be some wild animals out there. <laughs> We're gonna have a cook-off. I'm gonna need a deep fryer also. We got deep fryers. This okay. is nice here. I just pretty tight. I need a size 12 in this. Step it back, step it back, step it back. I'm definitely gonna need one of these. That's a nice ride. Like Him and all of the male Brown family members spend the night at the campsite, barbecuing, sitting around the campfire, and playing around. And it's obvious where he gets his personality. Yeah, you love it. You will have a you don't need to use the directions? What you mean by too close? Man, I'm a military man. I would, I would sleep in one of these in high college. You and will see you all these technicolors. Pop Brown is like the coolest father in the world. Everybody loves him. He was the one in the house that, you know, was the entertainer. This is something that is rarely seen in black families. Three generations of browns here. That's pretty cool. Pop, listen to what I'm saying, pretty please. If you would like to drink that, could you please pour it in a cup? The range of comms is a fine. Yeah, I don't have a cup. I'll get you cups, and you won't have another problem. All right? Write right me a six pack while you get a cup. Cat, cat, cat. Cat. Tim a rodent. Cut. Rodent. My jab is Tim a rodent. The other jab. My other jab is. Y'all can't ignore me. Here, fire. Here, fire. What? Take you back in the room. Why you keep farting? You keep waving them damn old Stop fuck ass. farting! Some old fuck ass white girl out there, man. Go to sleep, man. Go out. Stop farting! Go outside. Stop farting. The next morning, Whitney calls Bobby because she misses him and wants him to come back home. No. I'm not coming home till next week. No, I'm off your mind. Well, I'm trying to find it. That's why I won't be home till next week. Oh, you are <laughs> you don't know where I am. I'm going. Bye. I can't even hang up from her. She trying to fight today. I ain't in the mood. Don't you give that woman directions. She decides to join them instead and arrives shortly after with the girls. Bobby is also a little annoyed because he wanted it to be guys only. She really trying to come out here too. Yes, my love. What you mean you coming here? When? Ah. Who you with? Me, Chrissy, and I'm going. You guys on your way? Yeah. Oh. What you laughing at? I'm funny, I'm a joke, what? No, I farted, I farted, I farted, and it, you can smell it outside. Oh, hell no, Bob. Oh, 
Who's gonna see you? What you gonna do when you see me? Uh, you been running the forest somewhere. Yeah, I bet you want me to run in the forest somewhere. Okay. All right. My wife doesn't understand when I say guys. I mean guys, you know. If Whitney's coming, all my attention's gonna go to her. Come in, baby. Daddy's not well. Come in. Your husband ain't well. Yeah. Either way, him and Whitney pack on some PDA and had a great time making burgers on the grill. I do. Uh, I'm gonna take the course to make it behind a tree. Yeah. Mm. And work to me over. Uh, yeah. All right, man. Don't hear it! Yes, they did. <laughs> we have a baby. This time he's carrying it. That's all love. Fire. Hey, I'll oh, fire you. The way you walk. So walk. And talk. And talk. Really set my nerve. And I'm for child. Yes, you are. <laughs> the way you tease. Knock me to my knees. Have it on fire. Have a. I like it when you did that. Oh. <laughs> 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 Kick me in my ass. They see a guy riding by on a jet ski, and Bobby yells at him to come over and allow them to take a ride. The unidentified man jokes with Bobby about driving while under the influence, and they all engage in some hilarious banter. I just want to talk to you. We want to say some things. This song, see how nice your ride is. About to jack this jack for the jack of us. Hey, can we get a ride? <laughs> Baby, quit driving drunk, though, I tell you. I don't drive drunk. I don't drive no more. You gotta let the chauffeur do the business. All right, let me get, let me chauffeur that for a little while. Uh, you'd have to write me a check, Bobby. How much of a check? Yeah, bigger than you can cash. Oh, really? No, nah, probably oh, not. Oh, oh, don't you don't know who you're talking to. I think it's Bobby and Whitney, right? Yeah, so you're talking about cash so you, money? So you, you, you don't know about money. I, I see way more money than I money. I know you're bigger than I am. I could buy that from you right now. You want me to take Whitney for a ride? You want me to bust <laughs> your ass? <laughs> My wife might not like that idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my husband might beat you. I'm sure. I'm yeah. sure. <laughs> Let me go get another drink and we'll think about it. <laughs> oh, that shit's cool, though. Guys, Bobby, on this water, you fly. Tight. You Big. punk mother I want that. I know. Come on. Man. My, my, my Come on. Thing. You're fool. Baby, take me out in the yacht. We don't have no yacht. We have a blow-up boat. Take me out in the yacht, blow-up boat. The couple enjoy some alone time on a blow-up rafter. This is peaceful. This is relaxing. This is cool. Mm -hmm. I can Why talk so Because I am there. When they get back to the campsite, Bobby makes a joke about bringing his other girlfriends to that spot, which gets him slapped by Whitney. Why didn't you ever take my baby before? Well, this is where I usually bring my girlfriends. <laughs> I ain't got no girlfriends, man. No, get off of me. No, I ain't got no Get off of me. And you see, you like our boyfriend around this What? You gonna know, around make a boyfriend get knocked the fuck out. Mm. Say something. I ain't say shit. You the one started it. All right, then. As they're preparing to leave, Whitney browses a magazine that features a story about Beyonce and Jay-Z and jokingly makes a public plea for the couple to invite her to their wedding. Yeah, Beyonce, uh -huh. Beyonce, Jay to the Z, Jigga! I love Jigga, I love him, I love, love, love him. Beyonce, pretty. Her eyes are beautiful. She really is lovely. Invite me to the wedding! Oh, I would love to come. In episode 5, Chrissy makes her uncle Tommy take her to the mall to buy a Mother's Day gift for Whitney. But when they get there, she finds out that her aunt Pat already picked it up. So they just went to the food court to get ice cream instead. Uncle Tommy, Pat already picked it up, so we have to go back to You mean to tell me I came all the way here for no reason? Meanwhile, Bobby plans a spa and hotel getaway for Whitney, but invites their kids, his sister's kids, and other relatives. Yes, yeah, Mother's Day. Taking my wife up to Chateau Elan. Little Chateau Spa. Uh, this year, my sisters called me and they wanted me to take their kids. 
So I felt, hey, <laughs> come on. Whitney doesn't want to go if other people are going because Mother's Day should be for her to celebrate alone. She still gets in the car and they drive all the way to the location. And once they get there, she refuses to get out the car. Bobby calls her a little girl as he goes to park the car. I'm so thrilled to be in the house with all of my, my nephews and nieces. He brings her flowers while she's sitting outside the hotel to convince her. But Whitney is still visibly upset. I don't think about me saying everybody has a name and I'm tired of being last on your list. I'm tired. It's not right. She finally caves in and goes to the room, but is still annoyed with the presence of children. The couple go to enjoy some live music in the hotel, and they slow dance the night away. But they end up running into the kids somewhere in the hotel, and Whitney wants them to stay far away from her. Taste one of these guys. What up? I don't know them kids. I don't know you kids. Who are you? Hi, mom. Who are you? Honey, I don't know you kids. Daddy! Oh, What I do? No, you did. I'm not the you are. What I do? Come on, take me off I thought it would be beautiful to bring the kids on Mother's Day. Did you hear that? Did that sound right no, to you? You get a spa and you don't have the children and you give yourself a day off. <laughs> <laughs> what I do? No, you did. I'm not the you are. What I do? The next day, Bobby abandons Bobby Christina to shop for wine and cooks Mother's Day breakfast in a private room in the hotel for Whitney. This scene also resulted in this reaction gif. Bobby and the kids go play golf while Whitney gets a massage and they all meet up at the pool after. Later that evening, the family of four have a picnic organized by Bobby. By the end of the episode, they're joined by the rest of the family, and surprisingly, Whitney doesn't seem to mind. In episode 6, the family check into a hotel after their house gets flooded, and Bobby runs into Sherman Hemsley in the lobby. Mr. Sherman Hey. You understand? <laughs> hey. You guys say you got the slop down. Huh? The slop down, you say? Oh, yeah, he got it. Yeah. <laughs> it's good to I got to go, bro. All right. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Whitney and her friend Sherelle go and grab drinks, but she lies to Bobby and says she's at the bank across the street. Now, I told my wife what time we were supposed to be leaving. She's supposed to be watching the kids, you know? Where are you, Whitney? Man, here we go again. So why aren't you here? I want you to come back, like, right now. Not right now, right now. Are you hearing me? All right, don't show up in 10 minutes. Bye. You got a trouble. <laughs> <laughs> you crazy, you know. You got, you got a trouble. trouble. Shut up. Wait, my wife, I told her 10 minutes. I mean, by went to the back of the house. Uh -huh. 
Can we back be talking? He said, be on time, fighting. He said, <laughs> Stop it. Stop, Stop it. it. Stop fighting yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that wasn't your spirit, man? Oh, babe. It had jumped on it him. jumped on top of him. Stop fighting yourself. <laughs> Bobby's upset because he has a photo shoot scheduled soon and she's supposed to be looking after the kids. So he goes across the street to the bank looking for her and realizes it was all a lie. Chris? Where are you at? I might have to go to the bank. What bank? Gotta go to the bank and do some things. I just went across the street to the bank and you ain't at the bank. Um. What bank are you at? Don't play with me. I got things to take care of. Nippy, listen, 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 listen. I got this appointment at three o'clock, and where are you? Someone's busy. Hello? Hi, Mommy, where are you? I'm sitting here with Auntie Sherelle. What? That's like 40 hours away. We're gonna get out of here, don't worry. Just bear with me, okay? Oh, God, yes. All right, I love you so much. Man. Twat! I'm going upstairs with you. I'm going out. I mean, how much trouble can my kids get into? The ladies continue to have a good time at the bar as Bobby and Chrissy blow up her phone. He ends up leaving the kids unsupervised at the hotel and goes to his photo shoot. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> good. Nice. Beautiful. This is what I'm looking for. Nice. Right where you are. Just your eyes. Later at the hotel, Bobby and Whitney are hanging with Chrissy and her friend's daughter. And at one point, she stops and sings along with the hotel's pianist. That's why I love my family. That's why I love that lady. You know? Can only love her, man. The family seems to be having a great time in this scene. And this portion also births another popular meme of Whitney in the car singing Shut Up by the Black Eyed Peas as Bobby dances. Later in the episode, fans want pics with Whitney, and she unsurprisingly says no. But Bobby was more than happy to, of course. Can I give you a picture of you? No, sure. No. You can take a picture of me. Yeah. Huh? I shall return. I say no, but he says yes. So fit. Hi, I'm Bobby. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome to America. Yes, thank you. Later, Chrissy wants to be driven all the way back to the flooded house to get her dolls. Bobby hangs out at the bar and tells strangers that he's Whitney Houston's husband. <laughs> Who the hell are you? Todd Bridges. I'm, I should know, but I don't. <laughs> no, I'm Bobby Brown, man. No, for real, I'm Bobby Brown. He's like, <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> you can't be. I know she works with my med now. I don't know who Bobby Brown is. When you know? it was no, um, You don't listen to music, do you? Not to no, know people, no. All the guys I, I wrote the song My Prerogative, yeah, Getaway, okay. um, Humping Around, Roni, Rock With You. Else. You don't know me, huh? I married Whitney Houston. Okay. Now you know me, huh? Ain't that about a bitch? At the end of the episode, the couple is on a romantic date, and Bobby suggests they get remarried. I was thinking about it. Oh, I like that. I'm getting married again. Oh my god. That is 
It's so special to be asked twice. You love me like that, I love you like that so much. Well, it's on. Bobby Brown's officially getting married again. But Whitney ends the dinner early because she has cramps and also needed to go to the toilet. And that's how the episode ends. He's had to run since yesterday. Okay, thank you. Bless your heart, baby. Ooh, thanks. Avil. Cramps. The bloating. The whole nine yard. I need it. I need it. Mom's not cramps. Got uh, cramps? Mm-hmm. I'm about to do it, do Who the poo-poo? I'm about to drop it on the wound. A boat wound. So what do you want me to do? We can go upstairs. We done this. Bobby, can we go upstairs? Look. It's right. starting to look like mine. That's bloating. The agony, the pain, the pressure. Take it up. <laughs> Love you all. I'm about to do it. Can someone help me to get the food? I need a doggy bag. Doggy bag. It's just me, y'all. Oh, Incredible. Listen, how beautiful it is. What a man. What a guy! In episode seven, Bobby heads to LA for business and promotional purposes. He has Britney Spears' Toxic as his ringtone and jokes that she stole his song, referring to prerogative, so he stole hers for his ringtone. <laughs> Britney. She stole my song, I stole hers. How's that? He has no idea Whitney and Chrissy flew to California to join him. The ladies go shopping to kill some time while Bobby has an interesting rehearsal for a performance on Jimmy Kimmel. Cause a girl like you is like a dream come true. It's real life fantasy, come on. That's enough of that one. Tommy, you're in trouble. It sounds good. Huh? It sounds good. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Afterwards, he meets up with his eldest son, Landon, and preps for his live Jimmy Kimmel appearance. Today we get to see my oldest son. I don't get to see him as much as I see my other kids because he lives on the West Coast. That's my big boy. That's my firstborn child. So what's going on today? Man, this show, man. I gotta sing tonight. I can't believe it. I ain't sung in so long. Don't lose your mind, ladies. Don't lose your mind when you see the sexy body now. Wow! Sexiness, look at me. Look at my eight pack. The interview and performance actually goes well. We would like to have a song from you. Would that be possible? And after the show, Bobby attends a dinner meeting and is joined by some unidentified women. While there, he gets a call from Whitney who reveals she's outside, leaving Bobby a little annoyed at the fact uh, my wife decided to sneak up on me because she thought I was doing something wrong. My wife. Quite hungry. 
Just I'm about to time. eat Bobby's arm. That's how hungry I am. <laughs> <laughs> you would just be polite. I would be polite too. Yeah, they try to get me killed. <laughs> I'm going downstairs. Hell with that. <laughs> I ain't stupid. Are you selling those? Yes, sir. I'll have them all. Yeah. How much for them all? Thank you. Yes, sir. <laughs> as soon as my wife pull up, just get my plates, and we out. I'll go say goodbye. And we're out of this piece. Where my flowers at? Go get my flowers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at pretty. I'm glad she came because knowing that I've been a good boy, she's gonna be surprised. Peace. The next day, the couple attends a Christian Dior charity event, and they answer a question from reporters about the state of their marriage. Thank you, I love you. How's it been tough over the last oh, year it's been, so? What do you yeah, think? Yeah, it's, it's a little tough, you know. <laughs> All right. We wet the it, storm. Right. I, think it, I think it's been tougher for everybody else than us, mm -hmm. you we, know, because, because we know how to deal with it. Their job is to keep up with us, that's hard. Right. Yeah. We Amer we're you? America's entertainers, right. you know? We have also um, the television show that's coming out, and um, it's called Being Bobby Brown. Could this be better than Nick and Jessica's show? I don't know. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. They're come cute. On. They're With cute. Bobby and Whitney. <laughs> <laughs> they enjoy some drinks and cigarettes at the party and jokingly flirt with each other, bringing the episode to a close. Hey! 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 Don't you back that thing up. Don't you back it up. Don't you back it up. Don't you back that up. Don't you back that up. I'm about to run it You look wonderful. Thanks. What's your name? Whitney lives with Houston Brown. Nice to meet you. I'm Bobby. Episode 8 opens with Bobby, Whitney, and some friends having a debate about higher power. So you're a Christian? But does Muslim believe that Jesus is Lord and Savior? He is, he is a, savior. a Savior. He's a Savior. Is he Lord and Savior, I said. He's not Lord and Savior, okay? Yeah. God is Almighty. It is a Lord. They're Lord. They're Lord. They're Lord. There's too many names. There's too many names for there is too many names for the higher power for us to be into a conversation like this. In my house, we shall serve the Lord. That's right. We all serve him. I serve him. I serve him well. We're gonna let the ladies sit and talk. And... Yeah, yeah! Everybody always think I'm locked up somewhere. The family hops on a plane to Miami to spend some time at their condo. Chrissy! Chris. See? See? You know what? You're playing. You're playing. The kid said that I cannot smoke around them anymore. So you're going to have to put that out. And secondhand smoke kills everybody. So that means one, two, three, four of us are going to die because you're smoking. That killing me right there, that light. Oh. While there, Bobby visits Steven and Damian Marley in a studio to record some music. The next day, he drops $700 at the grocery store, and just like every other episode, the couple puts their belligerent affection on display. Uh, shut up, Bobby! I didn't ask anybody in my house. I told you, I'll tell you what. You take your ass in that room and you go back to bed. I'm not going. You got, you got some call me, Ride, ride like the wind. Ride like the wind. Wow. I'm on the run, no time to sleep. <laughs> How you like this? Can you smell it? That's a good ooh, one, ain't ooh, it? Ooh, ooh. That's real good. Ooh, you like that smell, ooh. don't you? I like when it's funky like that. That way I get to kiss with the taste of the tastefulness of a kiss. Ew! With the funkiness of breath. Come on, bring your ass here. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? 
You really want to know? You really want to know what's wrong with me? Hey, Bob, what pain? No is? fruit in the house. Plastic fruit. That's what's wrong with me. What's my phone? I did like this. I said, I said, don't get all excited. It's a toothbrush. <laughs> Woo! We had some fun late at night. I'm tearing up. Get your ass in there. Sometimes I can't hold it all. Come on, Bobby, shut up. <laughs> get in there. Ew! <laughs> Bobby sings the new song for Whitney, who points out that the song's melody is similar to SWV's 1992 hit, Right Here. What's the song about? Beautiful, here we go again, my love, you know, I to death on no fear. What? From what? It's SWV. From what? Who's that, Janet? SWV. I'm taking my ribs no more. Stop it. Later in the episode, Bobby takes Chrissy to his hometown of Boston to visit family and bond with her older sister, La Princia. The girls spend the day shopping together, but somewhere along the way, they fall out and stop talking to each other. It's probably because La Princia criticized the amount of money Bobby Christina was spending. No, she spent like all the money. Her pants were like 100 and something. Can I have that? Thirty-five. Mm -hmm. Yes, you do. So I don't. Uh, how did I get in this conversation? Really? Twenty-eight. <laughs> At like one store, she paid like two fifty. I'm straight with spending all that money. What bag is this? Now Chrissy is copping an attitude with her father and wants to go home. So he asks the camera crew to give him some privacy while he talks to her. Where's your sister? Find out where your sister is. Both of them. I don't know where they are. I don't know who said something to her, but she's mad and she won't speak to her sister. I don't like that She won't talk to me, so. Why is she acting like that? What is wrong with her though? Christina! Come here. Come here. Come here. What's the matter with you? Nothing. Why Why are you bothering me? Leave me alone. Don't tell me to leave you alone. Go with your sister. No. Go with your sister. Go with your sister. No. Don't tell me no. Bobby, Can I'm not playing with you. Go with your sister. Can Don't I use your phone? sitting around with no grown-ups. Your sister's right there. Can I use your phone? Chrissy, come here. I want come a here. phone. Come here. Come here. Go with your sister. You need to leave me alone. <laughs> I can't wait to okay. go home. Go with your sister. What's wrong with you? Nothing. I need a phone. Get away from me. Get away from me. Get away from me. What is wrong with you? I need a phone. For what? Huh? Oh. That means you too. Away from me right now. Chrissy! She's being a brat. I'm not even gonna try to talk to her. I don't know what's wrong with you, but you ain't gonna be walking around here like you're grown, like you're by yourself. You're not by yourself, you hear me? What's the matter? How come you ain't with your sister? Why do you wanna be by yourself now? You came all the way out here to see your sister and now you wanna be by yourself? I'm sending her friend home. Is that better? What does that mean? I don't care about that, okay? Come on, let's go find Princess. You're walking down the street, come on. Can I sit with you? Here we go. <laughs> I was waiting for the day when these two would start fighting over, you know, the time that they spend with each other. Sometimes, you know, one of them is with their friends and the other one doesn't really want to hang out with the friends. They just want to hang out with their sister, you know? I just hope they grow up to know that they need each other more than their friends need them. But the girls make up by the end of the day, which is the end of the episode. It's hard raising girls, man. You don't know what's wrong with them. They're mad. You get mad because they're unhappy. I don't know. Guess I still got a lot of learning to do how to take care of girls. But I love them the same. 
In episode 9, the Browns are spending time at home. Told you she can't break. You didn't tell that camera that. Yes, I did. My wife didn't even play with dogs when she was little. She used to play with matches and gasoline. And burn the asses up. Amen. I start the North Rise, you know that? That's two. All you doing is pulling my hair. You ain't right. Come on, let me do the other part. Let me do the other one. Let me do the other one. Come on. <laughs> Bobby, you know, I hate that <laughs> What's happening, sweetie? You know that sweetie don't work well with me. I'm gonna work, I'm gonna work my fist in your mouth. Baby, get up before I get up. Why? Because this chair will fall back and you will bust your ass right straight on the chair. Oh, you'll be laughing your I'll ass. I'll be laughing my ass into the, to the, to the They decide to go have some fun at Dave and Buster's. And for some reason, when they got there, Bobby and Whitney were jokingly talking in island accents. David and Buster's. David and Buster's. Going to get the fried fish. Thank you. Welcome to the Can I see you at the gas station? Yes, ma'am. I sure did. <laughs> oh my God. Small world. It's a small world. Small, 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 world. small world. Everyone seems to be enjoying themselves, but then Bobby and the guys start playing pool. Whitney's ready to leave, but Bobby refuses, so she leaves him there. They don't get no shot. Right, right. Uh, you know? Let's go. Give me the keys. I ain't going nowhere. I'm staying here. Guy, give me the keys. Do you have the keys? Did I try? Goodbye. Bye. I'm leaving. Bye. Bye. I'm going. Bye. Bye. She just left. She just drove off like that. And y'all think I'm crazy. I'm just gonna assume he rode home with someone else. The following evening, Bobby is spending the night out and later receives a call from Whitney, who sounds like she has company. He starts questioning her about whether or not she has a man over. You can't hear Whitney's response, but from his comments and response, you can tell she probably wasn't happy with him bothering her. Who's that? You got company, don't you? You got somebody over there with you. Who there with you? Who's there? Oh, really? You got a man there with you, don't you? Huh? If I, ca if I catch a up in there, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna bust his... What? You ain't in the mood for playing. I'm not in the mood for playing. Who's over there? Who am I? I'm your husband. What you mean, who am I? What? Oh, you're a grown woman? You're a grown woman. Huh? You grown now. Who's over there? Bye. Whitney and I, you know, we know how to fight and we know how to make up, you know? And that's that's the good thing about us. Which showed more signs of the toxic side of their marriage. Towards the end of the episode, the family's in Whitney's hometown of New Jersey, where the couple also has a house. By this point, I was questioning their finances and the amount of money they must have been spending on the upkeep of all their properties and constant travel fees for the entire family. These are my clothes. They're supposed to be somewhere else, but I don't know why they're here. But these are all of the awards, mostly my wife's. I've got five Grammys and seven American Music Awards, two People's Choice. We go back upstairs. This is my great room. <laughs> That's a room. This is, this is the game room. This is where I'm using that. And you know, you gotta have the game room. That's my shoe room. Those are Michael Jordan shoes. My office, it's the bed area. Closet space, closet space. The <laughs> The couple engage in their usual loud, playful banter, and Bobby also finds time to record some music. Whitney also reunites with her New Jersey family, and by the end of the episode, Bobby was annoying her. Yeah, yeah! Head out on the highway! Yeah, yeah! Don't know the rest of the words. Go little, go little, Everybody got a new me a new song. Get mad because I can hit the new. Ah. 
Oh, I tell you. Yeah, I kill you with four drops of blood. Whap, tree. He protecting your country. Yes. 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 He ain't protecting me, mother. <laughs> that motherfucker <laughs> put me in jail. George did his. <laughs> George had put him in jail. <laughs> Y'all talking about freedom? He going over there fight for freedom. Hey, we ain't free in this country yet. Oh, we gotta live with SARS. We gotta live with. <laughs> nah, what the <laughs> anthrax? Mm -mm. Oh, no. you just watch too much TV. I'm a true American. I've been to jail before. That's American. Kiss my ass! All right, that's what I like. Bobby! Whoop, what's wrong with you? Check myself before I wreck myself. No, for you get wrecked. I'm gonna wreck you. Oh, you ain't gonna do shit. Whitney. Bobby, I said, God, don't push your luck. Whitney, you ain't gonna do shit. What you gonna yeah, do? Don't push what you gonna do? Put your hand on me? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I got her! Ooh, I thought she was coming for it. I thought she was coming for it. Oh, take it, you have one job. Oh, I got one job. Come on, Bobby. 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 Come Say something else. Say one more word out your mouth. One more word out my mouth. Lucky you did it quick enough. You look so rebellious. That's my middle name. Rebellion. Bobby, don't start that. Bobby that's Rebellious cute. Brown. That's not, even cute. that's not even cute. That's not cute. That's not cute. Stop! Stop! Get out my face. Get out my face. I'm not gonna move to it. I'm not gonna move to it. Go ahead! Go ahead. Ah. Ah. Stop. <laughs> I consider this episode to be the season finale because episode 10 was just a compilation of random clips, deleted scenes, and highlights from the season. Hey, got some? Let me out. Mega poo poo. Okay, let me out. Come here. I don't wanna be here. I don't wanna be here. Come on. Food dad. Let me out. Let's talk with Let me out, Let's talk with Come here. Come here. Get off me! Hey, she hit me. Y'all see it? I don't fight. I don't wrestle. I beat bitches up. Remember that? <laughs> <laughs> that shit was Man. hysterical. I was like... It was our real world? Yeah! Okay, we're like a thing. Grab my <laughs> Hey, how you gonna just grab my <laughs> I'm not taking no more pictures. Bye, Bobby. Because she grabbed me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gonna grab me? Yeah. Wait. <laughs> I, 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 no, I'm about to go take a, a real one and, and sit on the toilet and talk to you. Come on, Bobby, shut up. Shut up, Bobby. Come on. Give your husband a kiss. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Come on, baby. Bag. Stop it. Just give me the bag, okay? Just get the bag and get out. Yeah. Punk. I wouldn't really try me right now. Punk. Punk, I'm not. What you gonna do? Don't make the bitch come out, though, you know. Oh. You better stop cussing in front of them little girls. Shut up! And that brings us to the Christmas special that aired that December. You can really tell a lot of time had passed in this episode shot in November 2005 from when they first filmed the initial season in early 2004. Chrissy looked a lot more mature and there was an obvious shift in Bobby and Whitney's marriage. Whitney was in desperate need of help and had sought treatment at a drug rehabilitation center for her addiction after filming the show sometime in 2004 and re-entered the same facility for more treatment in early 2005 just months before filming the Christmas special. In the episode, the Brown Houstons prepare for Thanksgiving. Bobby and Whitney go shopping for a new puppy for Chrissy. I gotta go to Dente. All right, come on. Come on. Bobby, stop now. I'm not playing. Poke it up. Go ahead, my son. Shoot it up. Shoot it up. Shoot it up. Go ahead, my boy. Bang! Bobby scared the damn dog. You, you got money? Here. Well, I just need to know what's up and where you're going to. We're going to the place to go first. give her a puppy first. Can we go to the puppy shop? To the Brown Boogie. Mr. Brown Boogie, y'all. Mr. Brown Boogie. This is some music. Later that night, the family attends her cheerleading competition. Today, my daughter has a cheerleading competition. They probably take first place.
Afterwards, Bobby and Whitney go to a nail salon for some pampering, and later that night, they get together to decorate the Christmas tree. The next day, Bobby gets his hair braided while the rest of the family cook Thanksgiving dinner. Singer Gordon Chambers sits at the piano and puts on an impromptu performance with the guys. Later on, Whitney hops on the piano herself as Pat Houston blesses the food. Oh, Heavenly Father, we come to you right now to say thank you. Thank you, God, for letting us be here today to see another day that you haven't seen before. There's also another sing-along with her brother, Gary. And I must admit, I did appreciate those moments. Some Christmas carolers stop by to sing a few songs, and they finally surprise Chrissy with her new dog. Get the baby. Get my dog. Oh my Nothing else really happens in the episode besides Bobby drinking and showing off in front of company. And that concludes season one of Being Bobby Brown, and subsequently the entire series. Despite the negative reviews and calls to stop exploiting Whitney and their daughter, it was reported that a second season was ordered after giving Bravo their highest ratings, and the pilot had already been shot. I want to do the um, reality series again. Um, I don't know if the people want to see it. Of course we do. Whitney and Bobby, I need to be, I, I got to get broke off. You get what I'm saying? I don't do that free stuff. You're watching Being Bobby Brown Season 2. However, Whitney refused to continue appearing on the show, which caused some issues with the network, and they couldn't come to a filming agreement with Bobby, since Whitney was the most important part of Being Bobby Brown. This led to the cancellation of the show, Nine months after the Christmas special, Whitney filed for divorce, finally ending their tumultuous marriage. And after her passing, the Houston estate locked up the licensing for the show, which prevents it from ever being aired again. I think somewhere inside, mm -hmm. something happens to a man when a woman has that much control, or has that much fame. Yeah. If he doesn't have his own. Doesn't have his own. Has to have his own. Was he jealous of you? He's not gonna like this, but yes. Mm -hmm. And that, guys, is the short-lived Being Bobby Brown series on Bravo. Was it entertaining? Yes. But knowing what we know now makes the show very dark and sinister. Let me know what other old reality shows I should cover next in my recap series. Like this video and subscribe to BFTV for more content.